In this example, we're asked to find the quotient. Now, quotient simply means dividing. And when you think about this and you look at it, it looks like we're really just dividing fractions. So there's a simple trick that you should remember, and that is the KFC method. Now, I'm not trying to advertise any particular uh, chicken places, but what I would like you to remember is that KFC... KFC stands for keep the first fraction, flip the second one, and then change the sign from division to multiplication. So let me write that out for you. Keep the first fraction, in this case, flip the second. So you're going to take the reciprocal, and then you're going to change the sign, and you're going to go from division to multiplication. So let's take a look at our example here. So I've got 5p minus 5 over p divided by 8p minus 8 over 8p squared. Okay, so let's see here. I have to keep the first fraction, so I'm going to write it out as 5p minus 5. Notice I haven't factored anything yet. 5p minus 5 over p. I'm going to flip the second fraction, which gives me 8p squared over 8p minus 8. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sign from division to multiplication. And then what I'm going to do is factor each of the parts individually. So let's take a look. 5p minus 5. To factor this, it looks like it's some pretty simple factoring. It's actually going to be GCF factoring. We're going to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is simply going to be 5. So I'm going to write 5, and then times P minus 1. Since 5 times P gives me 5P, and 5 times negative 1 gives me negative 5. So I've got that there. Then the denominator, there's really nothing to factor there, so that's going to stay the same. And then, of course, times. And then in the top, well, not really much to factor there either, but I, what I will do is write 8 times p times p. Okay, since that is p squared, which is right there, uh, remember that when you're working with uh, dividing exponents, uh, you subtract the powers, so we're going to be looking at 8p squared and p in just a second. Now let's look at the denominator of the second fraction, 8p minus 8. So 8p minus 8, again GCF factoring, the GCF in this case, the greatest common factor being 8. So I'm going to write 8 on the outside, and then p minus 1 again. Since 8 times p is 8p, and 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. Now, let's see what we can eliminate here. Okay, I have p minus 1 in the numerator here, and p minus 1 in the denominator here. I have a p that I can line out, leaving me with 1 there, and then I have 8 over 8. So now that we've eliminated all our factors, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got left. I have a 5 here, and I have a p here, and that's about all I'm left with. So 5 times p is simply, in this case, 5p. So my answer is simply 5p. So I've found the quotient of a rational expression.